Hasoi section on my wall. A whole section, Hasoi. And I wrote on a piece of paper, Hasoi. And there was an arrow. Behind bars for like riding a skateboard is the most insane thing ever. It was just like a dream. And now it just all happened so quickly. Yeah, yeah. And He's like, I gotta start taking drugs so I can skate better. This is bullshit. My foot sucks. Like, I don't know. Skateboarding is so harsh. Like, if you just have one little like thing wrong, with, like, I was always doing crazy stuff when I was a little kid. And whether I was filming it or not, you know, I just would like try to jump off a fat ass double set just to do it. You know, like even if I didn't think I could land. You know, things just happen. You know, sometimes life just gets to you and you just get a little down, you know, you just gotta let it out. It's just, it's just a tough break, you know, one more tough break in life. You know, it's not fun. It's weird, you know, like me and Dill would see each other back in the day and like really didn't talk to each other, whatever. Like it was just kind of like, you know, like we'd, it's like somebody you'd see us while like, hey, what's up, you know, kind of thing. And then, like, once we started skating together, I just found out there's so many things, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, you just click, you know, like, like, it's like a, like a, like a bond, like, I've had that with a couple friends, you know, like, you just be thinking the same thing at the same time, like, you know, it's like, just hanging out with somebody a lot and just, you know, like, skating all that shit. It's not a sport. It, there's no sportsmanship about it. I mean, there is to, to a degree, but it's a lifestyle. You, 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 you base it, being pro is loosely, loosely based on professionalism now. Uh, I'm not prof professional when it comes down to it. I look at skateboarding as more of an art than being an athlete, above all. I mean, it's art. It's technique. It's form. And it's just what looks good. I mean, that's what you gotta go by.
<laughs> you get a good taste of life, which a lot of people don't get at this age, you know, because they go straight into working or they're going to college and they, they're in this, like, like, just, I don't know, man. We just get a good taste of raw life. Don't do nothing, stupid. Don't touch me. If you get arrested. Listen, I'm not gonna argue with you. You didn't leave, I have to call the harbor police. Get up against the goddamn band. This ain't white school, guys. Get up against the band. Don't skate on here. You just fall here and break something, you're gonna end up suing my boss. Then I'm gonna lose my job. No, there's a law against it. You can't sue. Yeah, you can't sue no more. Bullshit. Look if you this. come up to me and Look give me this. a hard time, why should I give you any respect? You pulled up and had an attitude on me. You didn't, well, you were nice attitude. about it. No, but see, but that's the thing. No, I'm not gonna argue with you. Better stop right there, buddy. Luckily, I didn't hit him because I probably would be sued right now. I'd probably still be sitting in jail, and he's probably lucky too. Just getting put behind bars for like riding a skateboard is the most insane thing I've ever witnessed. If I survive to be 40, if I can still ride a skateboard, I'm gonna skateboard. No. Stop! You guys get out. What the? Pack it up and get out of here. You want? You want the police down here to finish it? Serious? I'm the one that can put you in jail. How could you I put me in jail? Put that's all. Because you're wrong and no, you know. No, W L F eight six. Yep, yep that's right. all. That's right. You got it.
This is good. I work for the city, and we do not spend taxpayers' money that way. Official skateboarder, man. That's my job. I skate for a living. He the filmer. I'm the skater. I guarantee that more tourist skateboarders come to Love Park to skate during the summer year than any other worldly tourist come to Love just to see Love Park. And I guarantee, if you ask any one of these stores all the way up and down here, right. if they would, if they would want skateboarders banned, they'd be like, nope. What? Kids are doing all over the place is trying to find their way of freedom to express themselves. And governments have always tried to control people, keep everybody down, keep everybody beat down. And they do this with skateboarders to keep them under control. And that's wrong, man. Get off! Hey, what do you think about skateboarding? That's your problem, Bob. Finland. His name's Arto Sari, and he thinks he knows a lot because uh, he can ride a skateboard around. You know, he's the kind of kid that gets just just stands there, and just does a 360 flip, and just, he's just not really looking at his board. He just does it, and he's a a young guy. You know, he knows about skateboarding. He just he just he just that's his that's his kid skateboarding. He's a great skateboarder, and he loves skateboarding and candy in Finland. Arto sucks. <laughs> Such a loser. <laughs> Chess is so good. Just, just makes you want to skate even more and just amazes me every time I go skate with him. It was just like a dream. And now it just all happened so quickly. And now I just realized like not too long ago I was in school and just like a regular kid.
it's not like it was something that I couldn't do, you know? Like, I totally had it those first two tries when I tried it. And it's just like it was the crappiest day. It was cloudy and windy. And like you can see in the video, it's just slow-mo. You can see how the board just comes off my feet. It like blows right off my feet. That was the worst, man. Every time I screw around, I lay around. I hate legends. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know why, dude. It, the only reason why I skate ledges is because I have to. I'm serious. I just learned like lip slides and five hours like the other day, just showing me on a ledge like getting all stressed. I, I screamed at this dude in a cement truck. <laughs> you see like a little middle finger hanging out. <laughs> like you dude was all pissed at me. After that, I was psyched. Can't do this here. I'm not gonna tell you anymore. I hate people that kick us out. They just don't understand. I can't reason with idiots. <laughs> so well, they got one drag minds. They don't want to do anything. What's your last name? Maldonado. Sign right here. People honestly think there's like some real world, like, you know, there's like two different worlds. Like you live in this fake world where you think everything happens and then there's a real world where you gotta get a job and a car and a phone and a wife and kids, like.
Dude, it's in my name. That's why I'm gonna hurt it. Hey, Matthew, show us some tricks. Are y'all good? Can y'all table top? Hey, Matthew, do some tricks. Helicopter, can y'all helicopter? Mob. The story starts probably in 1991 <laughs> when I couldn't do kickflip no slides as good as the other guys. <laughs> it has to do with a bicycle technique. Is basically what it comes down to. When you kickflip and your foot just goes completely weak and kicks back like this, this is a prime photo of Mob. <laughs> On the other hand, you have a flick, which Penny and Reynolds and a lot of people have. That's when the foot comes up, kicks out, and the board's a perfect kickflip. That's the basic explanation of Mob right there. It's like skating street and stuff. You have to go sort of mess up spots, you know? It's like, that's the way it is. It's like. You see something and it's so good, like a rail or something, and you're just like, oh, I want to skate this. When you make a trick, you know, it's not like in the middle of the trick you're hearing what everybody's saying. It's like you're completely focused on doing that, and that's like, I don't know, that's like the main thing, I think, why everybody skates is like, just to get that, you know. any constellation to you. I used to skateboard when I was coming up.
that was gonna happen. Let me mock this. Look, I knew that was gonna happen because I ran out of film. And every time I run out of film or I'm changing film, he fucking does it. Giovanni Red, I sleep with the fishes. Hey man, do you have anything for sale? Shorties and birdhouse. Same, Same wood. Alright. World and hookups. Same, Same wood. wood. Very good. Element girl. Same wood. Big girl. Hey! 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 Five Star Center, this is Edward Velasquez speaking. How may I help you, Mr. Muska? Uh, how you doing today, sir? Terrific, how are you? Right on, pretty good, pretty good. Just uh, cruising AZ, you know? Yep. A little vacation out here. Okay. Uh, what's going on? You know where any good handrails are out here? Hey, I have no idea. You haven't been there yet? No. No? Never, never been there. All right, man. Where's it from? You ever skateboard? Nope. Did never? Never. Oh, man. From? Guess what? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the radio, the ghetto blaster just is a must on the session, man. It, it's just motivation, man. It's just, for, without the ghetto, I don't think I would have been doing a lot of my tricks that I'm doing right now. <laughs> but basically, I just take, take music into play. I just, like, skate down the street, start rocking a beat through my head, get my adrenaline running, jump up there, and, and just do it. Like, just, just do it. Just think about how it's going to feel to roll away from it and don't think about nothing else and just think about doing it first try, you know? And that's just, like, how I try to do it.
it's people's obligation to everybody out there to contribute. Skateboarding doesn't really contribute. It contributes to you a little bit, I guess, physically or something like that. You should jump down there because there's cars coming down. Yeah, we are. He's watching the cars for us. Yeah, but you know what? I could have hit him. I come down the fucking insane. hill. I don't want. I mean, I don't want to get hit by a car. I don't want to. I want to hit a car that yeah, yeah, on the hill. I grew up on skateboards. I think it pushes a lot of kids out of skateboarding. Probably, if they see that, like they're like 14 and they watch somebody go to jail for skateboarding. You're gonna be like, wow, should I be doing this? It's like a crime in there because they don't know anything. They're just kids. So I, I shouldn't be doing it. So they go to something else that's legal, like rollerblading. Watching you guys think you're gonna, you know, hit the ground. My head hurts just thinking I probably will too. <laughs> I don't know, like, when I was a kid skating, like, I really didn't think about it as anything except skating, you know? And just, just to have a good time, that's why I did it, because I like, it was fun for me, you know? And I never thought of it as a job or anything, you know, or fucking making a living off of it or, or just being pro or any of that. I just, like, thought of skating, and I did it because it was fun, and, and I still definitely do it because I love doing it, and it's, you know, just to have that feeling of landing a super hard trick that you want to do, you know, is a great feeling. Just right, and, and everything clicks, and you can feel it. It's just right, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like soul surfing. <laughs> so, is this actually a demonstration to, um, to demonstrate, hey, we need a place to skate uh -huh. in LA, and that's why you're here? Yeah. speak to that thing anymore. It bothers me that, that, that big, big fish eye. When you do a trick, your mind needs to be clear, you know? You can't think of anything else. Like, just like two seconds before, or one second before you do the trick, actually, you jump downstairs or whatever, you don't think about anything else. You just, you, it's kind of empty. You're just like doing the thing, you know? You, you're not thinking anything else. That's it. I'm a cool mom because I, I buy him shoes, I buy him skateboards, and I take him and his friends to the skate parks. Dad sits at home. This is BX1000, I got one of those. They come down, Ty follows me with the front side Kruger and the front side Kruger and is falling off right now. And you know, I'm having a lot of trouble on it. Maybe okay. in the finals. Okay, thanks for this interview, man. Peace. It's all back to you. Talking to people and stuff everywhere, and like the only thing they could say when they find out that you're in the skateboarding is extreme games. And that's one thing I hate about skateboarding, is that every time someone brings something up, whether it's like a you know, family friend, whatever, all he's talking about is the extreme games, and the extreme games is easily comparable to, say, jazz, and you listen to a Miles Davis album, and in the same section as Miles Davis is Kenny G. You know? You know it doesn't belong there. And you know, like, you, you know it's, it's not supposed to be, but it's there. And you just have to accept it. That deals with people in skateboarding, and that deals with things that are involved in skateboarding that you have to deal with.
I, can, I don't even think I can stand on one of those fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? my ankle. <laughs> I'm not skating anymore. I'm throwing the skateboard in the garbage. <laughs> yeah, that kid's had so much wrong with him. He he got shot in the head with a bow and arrow. <laughs> like uh, the arrow seriously just ricocheted off his head and just. <laughs> <laughs> the dust bowl is a place. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, I used to go there back in the day, and then what is it? it's just like wallows. <laughs> I always skate a mini ramp. Transitions. Transitions. That's it. Like nonstop, and then like all of a sudden, Mike was like, "Dude, yeah, start skating street. Like, <laughs> what are you doing?" Yeah, and I had these big ass T-bone wheels, <laughs> and I couldn't do any like flip tricks. Park. Tell him the plan. Tell the camera the plan. The plan is this. His name is Wallman. The leader of the squad is Wallman. Wallman is the right. leader of the squad. Right. Now go ahead, Dickie. Nobody can touch him on this videotape. Because can't touch him. Can't touch the man. Because the boy's bad, man. I'm telling you. Bad boy. You know what I'm saying? He's bad. He's good. And, we just and that's all there is to it. We I'm not saying the rest of them. We see the whole squad. I'm not saying the rest of them ain't good. All of them is good. But him. I think he's the best out the bunch. That's right. We the managers. And we, we the want wall man. We want we want, we want wall man. Bad Marge. We want wall man. We want wall man. We want and the crew. And the crew. See him, look at him. And the crew. His action speaks for itself. And the other guys too, they good, but not like him. Wall man is good. Look at him. And look the, the crew. Look at the performance. That's wall I mean, man. I mean, here and there, little simple mistakes and little errors. But other than that, he's they good. They all good, but you can't touch wall, man. Can't touch wall, man. Can't touch this, damn it. Like the MC Hammer. The ball need to be on commercials, I'm telling you. All right, stop. Now, before you walk in the door, the flicker store and try to get money out the drawer, you better think of the consequences. Who are you? I'm your motherfucking conscience. That's how I say it. Go in, get the money, get 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 money